Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make um, a um, hot air balloon. I forgot what I'm even doing. Um, how to make um, a hot air balloon with um, a light bulb. So I've got a couple of different light bulbs here. Um, these ones actually sorted out the cupboard and uh, they're actually usable if I had a bayonet fitting anymore. Look. Um, but you might have some old ones or if you've got some old ones, first thing to do, clean them off so they're nice and clean. Okay, so they haven't got anything uh, on the surface, the surface is all nice and clean and ready to use. Um, what I've got is some um, acrylic pens, I've got some Posca pens and I've got some Liquitex ones. So either are fine uh, as long as they're acrylic marker pens. Um, I've also got a whole load of like little stickers, little sparkly bead stickers and they're really good for adding on. Uh, I've got some cotton um, which we're going to attach at the top. Um, this is just um, a polyester cotton, but you could use something like um, fishing wire or you can get that that you make the bracelets with. If you've got some of that around, that's great as well. Uh, it just needs to be quite fine. Um, and I've got a couple of little beads because we're going to attach these on the top at the end to attach our cotton to. So put those away. Um, there's actually, I've seen a few um, different ways of doing this. Other people have had to go as well. Uh, and some people are getting like a little bowl with sand to push their bulbs into and then work on and things. I'm not totally convinced that works for me, but it might work for you. So have a go and see. So I'm just gonna start first off just with the really simple lines. Get my, my pen going. So these acrylic pens, there's like a little bead in there. You can hear it going backwards and forwards. Um, and you just really need to mix the acrylic up. And you also need to press down. Can you see now I've got a big blob of paint coming out? You need to press down because you need to get that paint all over that fibre nib there. Um, so sometimes when you start, I don't think I've got one that hasn't been started really, but sometimes when you start, the, the well always when you start the nibs are completely white so you really have to sort of pump it to get the, the paint to come down. Okay, let's have a go on this one. So I'm just going to do a, like a little grid first off. Um, I'm going to do a grid, um, I'm going to split it in half and then I'm going to split that into two and that into two. So I should have six going around. Only because um, these sets of little gems that I brought online, um, I just got them off Amazon just a whole set and you can get all sorts of different things you can get just sets of tiny ones um, I think if I got them again I would probably just get tinier ones because a lot of these big ones are just a little bit too big um, but I don't know if you can see that in my whole set I've got three and then I found another color there that's three so I can get six out but I haven't quite got oh I, have my, I might have another purpley one there oh there you go I could get nine out of that one um, but uh, and I've got some green ones not quite the same greens uh, there's a green there that limey green but I've only got six so I'm splitting mine into six only because my little beads are only in sixes uh, so do bear that in mind I've got some other ones that I've done where I've put all sorts of colors on but yeah so it won't dry straight away so be careful about pressing it down onto your table because it won't be completely dry so the, the 
quicker you get at it, uh, and the more you practice, you can see I've got a bit wobbly here, um, the better your lines will be, I promise you. Um, I did this the other day and made a whole load, and actually on the last few, I was like really, really quick on it, um, and really neat as well. So, uh, yeah. So, I, I have been trying to find sort of, you see like on the bayonet one, I'm going from that point to that point, so at least I can keep myself level. If you think you might not be going all the way around level, then put yourself some little dots on that you can join up with at least. Um, I did start working from the top and I just ended up going all over the shop. Um, I'm also going to try and find little areas on here where I can just sort of put a ring around, where I can sort of keep a basic line. Yeah, going quite wobbly there. So I've got a tissue over there just in case. mistake you can work uh, you can pull it back and then work back over it again not too bad I've got a little wobble there but... So I can take those up to the top, uh, I can do all sorts of other things on them as well. Maybe we'll have another ring going on there. So I'm disappearing off the, off the bottom there. see here if I leave it to dry I can just scratch it with my nail okay so let's put some more interesting bits on here It's got um, this bullet tip on it, so it's quite a square tip. Uh, it's not ideal because I, I, I kind of want to be on the fine point. Um, I've got some others that have got a, a fine point on them, but they're quite, um, not a fine point, but um, a bullet tip, you know. Um, uh, but they're quite chunky ones, these ones are. So, uh, that's why I'm going for this. So, let's go for. As I said, you do need to be careful um, of, because it's still wet and it'll stay wet for a little while. Um, it's not too bad, but um, yeah, just be careful. Let's get that wobbly one off. Deal, but it's okay. Right. 
because I've got a lot of paint coming out of it there. Right, there we go. Uh, I can come in here and put other things in, but I'm going to bring some little colours in now. Just see if I can get that to dry a little bit at least. Um, you could um, put blocks of colour on all over first. Um, I think I just found that actually once I put big blocks of colour on really decided what my design was um, and so uh, yeah when I put big blocks of colour on then I was thinking well, what am I going to do with this now so I think I prefer to just have the little design on and then work in um, I really really liked on the the clear bulbs. I have to say the clear bulbs are lovely um, when they're done up. Um, I'll show you one in a minute. Um, yeah I really liked on the clear bulbs just not putting any colour on whatsoever and just leaving them just uh, with the little beads on. Oh, let's go pink. the um, pens some are a translucent colour and some are a um, quite an opaque um, and a matte colour um, so have a try with your pens and see what they're like first um, because I found it looked a little bit odd if you had this sort of very opaque matte colour down. Um, next to a really translucent colour. So you might like that. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this and then we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so I've kind of gone round. I'm a bit wobbly and things here, but um, and I'm going to come round later, you see I've got some like little marks here where I've just gone off the line. So I'm just going to come round and I'm probably just going to go round with the little tusk pick and just get that off. I can be twitching it still while it's wet. Um, but I just wanted to show you quite quickly um, different patterns and things. Uh, so, what have I got? Uh, I've got some, I've got three sections here, I've got four there, uh, what should we go through, let's go for these little heart ones in our four. Already it looks cuter, doesn't it? Okay. Um, I've got these brownie ones, maybe I'll go for those. Right. I'm going crazy now. Let's just stick anything on, shall we? Use these ones. There we go. 
these little ones at the top but I'm a little bit worried that actually that isn't going to be um, sturdy enough so take your cotton however long you want to thing that I found is to actually just um, use the beads is to actually thread through a bead Oop, if I can thread through a bead there. Oh. <laughs> I could have pretended I'd threaded through it couldn't I do you think you do see couple of different glues I've got this all-purpose adhesive um, which is fine it takes a little while to dry um, but it's it, it makes a really good bond and it will stick to most things the other one I've got is this one which is a super glue but it's a gel um, this is a really quick drying one. Whichever one I use, I end up sticking my fingers together. This one super sticks my fingers together like crazy. So let's see what happens. But it is a really fast drying one. Oh, look at it all splurging out now. Quick, get my legs back on as quick as I can. Okay, and I'm going to try and get that knot and everything all tucked under. Don't worry about that little bit hanging out because we'll trim that off at the end but it's a really useful bit that little bit of um, cotton there hanging out because we know that we've got to really stick that bit down so get it on there and that's it and we'll just leave it to dry now and then we can snip that that little straggly end off later Okay, so here's our finished one. I have only just glued it, but it's gone quite hard now. There we go. But you can't see while I'm holding it up like that, can you? So there's our finished one there. Could have been a little bit neater with that. I'm going a bit careful. I've got a little wobble in there. Um, but you can see the other ones that I've done. So I've got one that's just all different colours in there. Here's the clear ones, and I love the shape of this one. Not sure it's hot air balloon shape particularly though, um, but I really love the clear ones there. Um, and I've not put any colour on the clear ones, just put the little um, stickery gems on there. Um, I've got white ones, and that's the same as this one little globe these globe ones are white and they're kind of cute with the white so you're just putting another extra color on I've got one without any colors on um, and without any beads I, I, I had a gold pen so I popped a, a dot of gold on but no other colors there's another one of those um, I think they're like supposed to be like um, little candle flame ones I don't know um, there's my other clear one. Uh, I, I think I'll have to get some clear ones. What I did was I just sorted out my cupboard uh, in the kitchen, in a back cupboard, um, and I found that I just got loads. I don't know where they'd all come from. So I just got loads of these different bulbs, which uh, we're never going to use now. Um, we've got all um, uh, LED bulbs and, you know, low energy bulbs and everything um, and we're we're not going to use these particularly um, so rather than just throw them away 
I thought, why not use them? Um, but I do think that I might purchase some clear ones because they worked really well. Uh, the one thing to remember with this is you can't plug these in now. You can't plug them in because the, the acrylic paint on them, as the bulbs heat up, all sorts of terrible things can happen and uh, where the bulb expands or the acrylic does or doesn't expand and you get explosions and all sorts. So you can't use these. Um, you can see that you can like scratch off the paint so you do need to be careful of them knocking against things um, if you're going to sort of use them anywhere where they're going to knock or rub against things then I would put an acrylic spray on them um, just a varnish spray that you can get from somewhere like B&Q um, you can just get it in a spray can and spray them all over um, I would find something to stand them in and spray them or hang them up on your washing line and give them a good spray all the way round um, so they're covered I'm not totally convinced that if you colour covered them in acrylics they would be okay outside I think maybe they would be okay outside um, if you were going to hang them up in your garden maybe um, just over the summer holidays or something just for a few weeks or if you're having a bit of a party or something hang them up they'd look really cute but I think I would bring them back in um, I wouldn't leave them outside because I do think over time that's all gonna uh, all the acrylic paint is gonna come off eventually the other thing to remember is the reason why it comes off so easily is that your glass surface is so smooth um, so there isn't masses for it to adhere to um, so there we go uh, yeah so I used um, a lot of them I used the black or the brown to draw with first you can see with this one I used all different colors to draw with I'm not totally convinced I like that one um, I do like them without the colour. Uh, my partner prefers them with the colour, so I did some with colour on. Um, so I don't know, you choose. I think I like that one best. That's the cutest. <gasps> That's my favourite. There. Um, <laughs> so yeah, have a play about with different designs and things and different patterns. Um, you can see on this one I had a go at just adding a little bit of a band around here. Um, I wasn't that keen on painting down here um, I think if you don't want it to look like a light bulb then I might be inclined to maybe get some ribbon or something to wrap around so it completely covers and makes like a little basket <clears throat> down the bottom there um, otherwise you kind of in a sense miss the point of the fact that they're light bulbs to look like hot air balloons but choice is yours um, yeah, I probably wouldn't use these massive beads on the top here. Um, they're kind of funny, but they're a bit too big. I have found some tinier beads now, you can see. Um, and so they're better. But yeah, uh, go and have fun. Uh, I'd love to see what you produce. Um, so if you make some really cool ones, then join my student chat room on my website and I'll put the link below. Um, take some photos and share with everybody. Um, and uh, see you on the next video. Bye for now. Trisha here. How's it going? Did you enjoy that video? Was it good? Mm. Well, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully I'm not getting worse. Okay, so I'd really love to see what you do um, after this video. Um, so if you want to share any of your work, do go onto my website, Trisha Johnson dot uk. Go onto my a student chat room. Um, and click through and show everybody your work. Visit my website to find art resources, follow me on social media, like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials.